Hi, in this lesson we're going to add moving particles to our game scene to guide players and give them feedback during gameplay. So let's get started. Particle systems create the illusion of moving particles. This could be dust, smoke, fire, water, or even rocks popping up out of the ground. By changing a particle system's properties, you can create a variety of visual effects. These effects can help guide players, warn them of impending doom, or alert them to rewards and treasures. Motion, along with light and cameras, can give players a variety of feedback throughout their gameplay. Most often, particle effects are built up in layers using billboards. These are 2D shapes that project colors, textures, and materials toward the camera. When you see an explosion or fire in a game, it's likely a set of textured layers within multiple particle systems creating a 2D effect towards the camera. From the side angle, you'd see a layer of flat moving images, multiple layers of them. Billboards, meshes, and other particle shapes emit from a source. The source shape can vary as well as the emission location. These billboards are falling from a single point source, but we could spread out the emission along the edge or face of the emission shape. Let's take another look at the source shape. Usually invisible, but shown in these images, the source shape tells the renderer where the particles should begin emitting. On the left, you see 5,000 particles falling from the surfaces of the cube source shape. On the right, those exact same particles are falling from the surfaces of the cube, but creating strands rather than random particles. Adding a particle system to a game object is rather simple, but adjusting the parameters and the many properties that each particle system contains can take some time. These particle system properties determine how the particles will behave in the game environment. Will they fall to gravitational force? How often should a new particle emit from the source shape? In what direction should the particle move? At what speed will the particles travel and for how long? Lastly, what colors, textures, or materials will be added to create a rich visual effect? These are all questions you'll need to answer while configuring each particle system. In this lesson, you'll be guided through a couple different types of particle systems, using different techniques to create an intended visual effect. You'll add dust to a garbage truck's wheels, showing a player that the truck is moving at higher speeds. You'll also guide players to a mysterious treasure chest in our park game environment with sparkles and glowing lights. Now that you know a little more about particle systems, it's your turn to create some visual effects that give gamers valuable information during gameplay. 